Hello everyone, Dustin Zaner with Creating the Difference. Today we're going to be talking about sanding directions and the overall surface longevity of using those different methods. The first method that we're going to talk about today is sanding in circular motions around the bow tie. The bow tie is where the track flares meet on the bowling ball. The next sanding method that we're going to talk about is sanding perpendicular to the track or against the track. These different types of sanding methods will often give different types of performance. We've linked a video for you here if you're interested in learning more. This method, like I said, you're sanding perpendicular or against the track. The final sanding method that we're going to talk about today is sanding parallel to the track. So you're essentially sanding in the exact direction as your track as shown in this video here. So now let's talk about the surface longevity of these different types of sanding methods. All of these bowling balls started at 2000 grit. And we're actually going to go ahead and work in increments of 1000 to truly get an idea of what is going on with the surface change. So let's talk about 2000 to 3000 grit. You can see the key on screen to have a good idea of which bowling ball is which. So let's talk about the bowling ball that was sanded against or perpendicular to the track. This bowling ball actually lasted 6 frames at 2000 grit and then it actually was the quickest to get to 3000 grit. On the other hand, let's talk about the bowling ball that was sanded with or parallel to the track. This bowling ball was the second fastest to get to 3000 grit, while sanding in circular motions around the bow tie was the slowest to get to 3000 grit. Now this is where the data can get up pretty interesting. When we take a look at the bowling ball that was sanded against the track, it again was the fastest to make the 1000 point grit difference to 4000 grit. Moving next to the with the track bowling ball, it was second fastest and the bowling ball that was sanded around the bow tie actually didn't get to 4000 grit until two and a half games after the bowling ball that was sanded against the track did. And when we look at the with the track data, it was a game and a half faster to get to 4000 grit. So now let's take a look at when this bowling ball gets to 4000 and then gets to stable which is 4700 grit. Although I mentioned the bow tie bowling ball took the longest to get to 4000, relative to after it got to 4000, it actually got to 4700 the quickest, only taking about a game and a half to get there. When we look at the bowling ball that was against the track sanded, it took three and a half games to get to 4700 grit. And then finally, the bowling ball that took the longest to get to 4,000 to 4,700 was the bowling ball that was sanded parallel or with the track. It took that bowling ball five whole games to get from 4,000 to 4,700. So when we look at this graph from a bigger picture, there's really a couple things that we can talk about. First, when we talk about the bowling ball that was sanded against the track, we know that this bowling ball will stay at its initial surface longer but it will get to 4700 grit quicker than the other two methods of sanding. When we talk about sanding around the bow tie, we know that this bowling ball is going to be more consistent getting to 4700 grit number. And when we talk about the bowling ball that was sanded with the track, this bowling ball got to 4000 the second quickest, but was actually above that 4000 number and took the longest to get to 4700 compared to the other sanding methods. From a surface longevity standpoint, the data we have here is pretty interesting. When we compare the bowling ball that lasted the longest with the with the track bowling ball, it lasted 24% longer than the bowling ball that was sanded around the bow tie and 33% longer than the bowling ball that was sanded against the track. So the next time you go to sand your bowling ball, Remember these different techniques and how they impact your bowling ball. If you're looking for overall service longevity, then sanding the bowling ball with the track is the way to go, as it lasted 7 games to get to 4700 grit. But if you're looking for earlier performance out of the bowling ball for about 4.5 games, then consider sanding the bowling ball around the bow tie. Because this surface is lower, it will inherently pick up sooner on the lane. And contrary to that, if you want the bowling ball to have increased length, then sand it against the track, as this bowling ball got to 4,000 and then 4,700 
sooner than all the other bowling balls. If you have any more questions or need more information, check us out at ctdbowling.com. Dustin Zander with Creating the Difference. Have a great day. Thank you.